Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Shocking death of a baby. Shanique Armstrong visited Spanish Town Hospital for a recurring cough, but ended up delivering her baby on her own in the company of strangers. The 26-year-old woman, who went into preterm labor while on a bed in the waiting area of the hospital's accident and emergency department, reported that her cries for help went unanswered by hospital staff, including nurses, whom she said insisted that they were not trained to deliver babies. No doctor was reported available at the time. Armstrong, who was 24 weeks pregnant, said the infant died sometime after her delivery. The survival rate for babies born at 24 weeks in Jamaica is not known as there are no available statistics, but reporters have been reliably informed that it is difficult for babies born at this stage in Jamaica to survive. The source said the necessary resources are not available for care, especially at public health facilities. This is Armstrong's second time experiencing loss at the largest Type B hospital on the island after her daughter died during labor last September. She said she was 32 weeks then. Reporters contacted Duane Francis, Chief Executive Officer of Spanish Town Hospital, who said that while he was learning about Armstrong's situation for the first time, he was shocked by the details. I will have to investigate this matter. The A&E &A waiting area is an open space, and for her to deliver like that is shocking. What I know to be true is that once the patient is pregnant, they will try to expedite their care. If there is any compromise for the baby, the doctor for the maternity unit would come over. Because our maternity unit isn't far and they are there all day, this is shocking news, stated Francis. Armstrong reported that her ordeal began when she visited the hospital on May 29 after feeling unwell. She said she was admitted, but space issues at the facility caused her to be rolled into the unit's waiting area along with other patients who had also been admitted. The then expected mother said she remained at that location for a few days while being observed by nurses on duty. It was during this time Armstrong stated she began having stomach pains, which she said she reported to the nurses who have been observing her. Although intermittent, the pain would return stronger each time, Armstrong stated. My good dear for a cough, which them say a new mona may have, and they wanted to treat it. I never went to have my baby or anything. I remember I started feel pain and tell the nurse. She was doing vitals. Me say, nurse, me no like home the pain feel, you know. She asks if me plan pee and come. Me tell her yes. She walk away and tell the other nurse them. Armstrong said, she a feel pain. That was it, the woman who has four-year-old daughter recalled. She said at the point she convinced herself that the pain was not an indication of a serious problem because the professionals had not reacted in a manner which suggested it was. Armstrong would eventually learn otherwise as she shift restlessly, she said to ease her discomfort. All this time, I was on a bed in the waiting area. I lie down and keep tossing my body from side to side. I am saying to myself, this feels like labor pain. I would know what labor pain feels like because I have a daughter and it's not the first I'm pregnant, said the St. Catherine resident. On June 1, Armstrong said her water broke. She said she alerted the nurse to what had happened but was not given the attention warrant. She asked if me sure if I no pee. She walk away and another nurse come and asks what do me. I tell her and she asks me if me sure. Me go as far as put me hand in the water and show her. She walk with to. Me hear a next nurse shout, give her a bedpan in case anything come out. Them low says Spanish tone kill them baby. Armstrong alleged, noting that the pain was terrible and had grown unbearable. She said around midnight, she was told by the nurse on duty that a doctor had been summoned. The woman said she continued to reel in pain until sometime after 2 a.m. when the baby was born. No doctor, no drip, nothing. None of them no do nothing. Them no look for me. Me call when me feel the baby a come out. Me say, nurse, she a come. All them said to me is, we can't do anything. We really can't do nothing. We have to just wait until doctor come, me say. You don't know how to deliver a baby? She said, sorry, we can't do it. Me said, Jesus, Armstrong recalled. Me feel more the baby coming out and me scream out, nurse, you really can't help me? Right then and there, the baby just dropped right out into the bedpan in front of everybody. She not done nothing, nobody help. 
She just walk away. Imagine how the pain terrible. Everywhere blood up and the baby under me in the bedpan, said Armstrong, who became emotional during the interview. She reported that she managed to pull herself together and was able to pick up the infant whose umbilical cord was still hanging from her vagina. I put her on the towel and tell myself that I have to get out the afterbirth now because that can kill me. I call her again. I say, nurse, not even the afterbirth you can't help me take out. She say, we really cannot do anything, mom. That's when I said, I have to get it out and I push and push until it come right out in front of me and everybody. Nothing them no do. Nothing for help me, Armstrong stated. The new mother said she begged the nurses to have her transferred to the maternity ward where she believed she would have been better assisted. But this did not happen. Armstrong said that she was instead told to wait and that the doctor was on his way. We sit down right in front of everybody and push out the baby. Security pass, nurse pass, other people, patients pass, soldier, everybody. Nobody look by me. I take up the baby and the afterbirth and wrap her up in the towel and my sister she wasn't dead. Me see like she was moving her tongue. So me say, nurse, see she a move her tongue. Just please carry her go over to maternity ward now. She never did a cry, but she was moving. She had a faint heartbeat and she did a try for breathe. Me say, nurse, no make me baby dead. She say, we really can't do nothing. She have to go wait upon the doctor. So I'm sitting there in blood, my life baby in my hand with the afterbirth and can't do anything for help her. Me say to myself, them really a go kill her next baby for me? Even if them take the baby and carry her go over and leave me here so, me would a okay. Leave me here so, but save the baby. That's what me a think to myself and say, but them no do nothing. The nurse go straight go be the lady, said Armstrong. She said that after waiting for some time, the baby began turning purple and her body became cold. The woman said she sat with her daughter until she eventually died. She said the doctor arrived hours later, around 5 a.m. When him come, not even 10 minutes him spend with me because there was nothing he could do, nothing. Him say him want to examine the placenta and me say, see it right here on me. He push it out. Him ask, where is the baby? And me say, see her right there. Him ask the nurse for a box and put the baby down in it. And from right there, that was it. It was done, said Armstrong, who recalled feeling numb in that moment. She said she remained at the hospital until last Thursday when she insisted on being discharged. Me asked them if the mago make me stay and make depression kill me, and I saw them send me home, said Armstrong, who added that she was not aware of anything being placed on her file about the dead baby. Up to that time, when I was leaving, the head doctor didn't know what happened to me until I tell him. Him say him no see nothing like that on my file. Them have no record of my baby. You can imagine? Spanish Town Hospital is the worst hospital in Jamaica. The staff there, careless and carefree, and honest to God, the place must be transformed into a mug because honestly, that is what it is, she reported. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.